Hi, and welcome to At Lunchtime Prayer Power. I'm Deidre Banks. Today, we're praying for God to give wisdom to his leaders so they may lead by the Spirit of God. We know that the Spirit of God is in born again believers, and that's to help us. He leads us and guides us into all truth. He's a comforter, an advocate, and intercessor. Amen. The paraclete. We want to rely on God and trust him to lead us and guide us into all truth and guide us into the right answers. We need to lead ourselves well. We need to be leaders if we're leading other people people we need to lead others well as well amen so we want to be led by the spirit of god those that are led by the spirit of god are sons of god we know the sons of god are also peacemakers amen we want to be sons of god we want to be peacemakers we want people who have wisdom and we want to, if it's up to us we want to live at peace with all people but wisdom is peaceable it's pure amen and so we want to get that information from the lord and if we are wise we will hear the word of god and we'll also put it into practice matthew 7 and 24 therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock we want to build our house on the rock we want to build our house on the foundation of jesus christ his word and jesus is the word made flesh we want to be anchored in his word in his wisdom that god give us a spirit of wisdom Amen, that we can walk in the wisdom of God. So let us pray. We thank you, Lord, that you are wise. You know all the answers. You have everything in you that we need. And so we don't have to go fishing around. We don't have to wonder what we should do because you have the answers. We want to acquire of you as David inquired of you. We want to be wise like Solomon, who was a great ruler, who knew the answers and knew how to deal with the people. He knew what to do. Help us to be wise, Lord, and help us to also receive godly counsel from others that we will not be caught up in our own ways. We know that pride is not wise. Help us not to be proud and forgive us, Lord, for operating in pride. Forgive us for going our own way and help us to listen to the elders, those that are speaking into our lives. Sometimes we've gone a different direction. We ask you to forgive us and we forgive ourselves. We know that you work all things together for good for those who love God, who are called according to your purpose. And we ask you to help us, Lord. As, you know, Solomon was wise, but then he uh, intermarried with many women who served foreign gods and, and things that were not of you. We ask you, Lord, to help us not to be led astray by the people that we conjugate with whether in marriage or our associations help us not to partner with those and meet unequally yoked with unbelievers but help us to follow you because we don't want our wisdom to be tainted we don't want our wisdom to be compromised where we're not hearing from you clearly because we're listening to the voice of the wicked one as eve was in the garden and she was listening to the voice of the enemy he said you most surely will not die if you eat of the forbidden fruit but god you had said she would die so the enemy deceived her and she did eat and gave to her husband also help us lord not to be deceived and then also be deceiving others we want to be wise leaders forgive us lord for leading other believers astray whether with our walk we were not walking wisely not walking in the power that you called us to walk in where we are were deceived we were afraid we did not speak boldly but we cowered away and so the others said well if they are not in faith how can i believe forgive us lord for not being the witness you called us to be help us to turn back some of us uh have made a course and and we need to make a course correction just turning a little bit to the right help us lord to walk wisely to walk circumspectly lowly with a contrite heart help us to be peaceable if it's up to us to be at peace with all men to be bound with your peace lord help us father god to walk peaceably Help us not to be backbiting, not uh, conflicted, and not uh, working against one another, but working in your peace, working in your victory. Help us, Father God, to seek you first, your kingdom and your righteousness. We ask you, Lord, to help us to be about our Father's business in this hour, that you will find us doing your work when you return, that we will be found doing what you called us to do. Well, this one left behind and this one going. Help us to be the one caught up in your glory, caught up in your presence, caught up in what you asked us to do. Help us, Lord, to stay committed. Many falling away on this hour, turning aside from their first love. Help us, Father God, to keep your commandments. Help us, Lord, to follow through with what you've asked us in your word and through your Holy Spirit. We want to be led of the Lord. Some you've asked to pick up and move across the country, some to distant lands. Some you've asked to plow, to build, to war. Some that you've asked to push through that dry ground and go forth. Help us, Lord, not to shrink back, not to go back, not to go back where they came out of Egypt, the Israelites, and said it was better. Did you bring us out here just for us to die in the wilderness? But you had a plan for their lives. Help us not to be stubborn, stiff-necked people, but to 
to not keep looking back to the past because it's better where we're going. You're taking us from glory to glory. You're taking us into the promised land. Help us not to be afraid about the giants in the promised land because there's giant grapes. There's a land flowing with milk and honey that you've called us to and you're taking us higher. Help us to receive the blessing that you have for us. We want to be with Joshua and Caleb who said, no, we can go and overtake them. Help us, Lord, to be courageous in battle, not afraid. Help us to pick back up. Some have lost the battle like Joshua did and I because there was sin in the camp. Help us, Lord, to remove the sin so we can go and win the battle and win the war. We're in a war, Lord. So help us not to look at the flesh and blood, not to look at the people that are warring against us, but to look at the spirits behind them, to discern the spirits and to pray for those that persecute us, pray for those that are trying to take us out and not to focus on that because you have a plan. You love them and we love them too. And we thank you, Lord, that you are taking us higher, deeper depths and greater revelation of your love and your glory. Help us, Lord, to stay persistent in pursuing you. Let your wisdom Help us in this hour to do the right thing and bring forth unity. Help us to speak the right thing in love that we can turn an enemy into a friend by your power, by your love, because kindness leads them to repentance. Help us to speak kind words full of life, full of love, to correct in love, to to, uh, correct and chasten, to correct in the love that you have called us to correct in not being brutal with one another but to walk in love, that we would speak the same thing in love, that we would be unified, a body of believers, many members of one body and also members of one another. Help us, Lord, to stay united in Christ. And when we see others falling away, help us to pray for them, to talk about them, not to demonize them, but to talk, speak life over them, to encourage them. And some are falling away even now. And we pray that they will be encountered by your love. Help us to encourage the one and to to pray consistently, firmly for them, Lord, that they would be drawn in by your Holy Spirit. Help them to turn back around. Help those that are falling away right now because they're consumed by this mm, culture. They're consumed by what's going on around them right now and they're not consumed by you. Help us, Lord, because we want to be the ones that go in to the wedding party with you and feast. Mm, At the wedding banquet, help us, Lord. Help us, Father God, to follow you. You are a good God. And your word says, call on the name of the Lord and we shall be saved. So we call on your name and we know that we are saved. Help us, Lord, to continue to walk that narrow path. To walk that narrow path, not walking the path to be separate and apart, to be consecrated for your glory. Consecrated, Lord, washed afresh, washed anew, new life, new breath coming upon us. Help us, Lord, to continue on, to continue on in what you called us to. And yes, Lord, we see that in the spirit, those that are hmm, conspiring. But we're not afraid of them because you've not given us a spirit of fear. We speak blessings over those that are trying to avert the work of the church. But the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. The house of God is built upon the rock. It's a firm foundation. And and we know that a house divided cannot stand. You're unifying the bride. We shall come together in unity. We shall come together in peace and love and joy. We shall come together in the fruits of the spirit. We shall come together and be unified. Because you called us higher, you called us into greater things. So we shall not shrink back. We're going somewhere and we thank you, Lord. We speak life over these precious children that are rising now. Some broken, some in need of a great healing. They've experienced rejection. They've experienced hatred. They've experienced racism, condemnation. They've experienced these things in the world, but these things are not of you. We ask you, Lord, to help us to be life and light to these children, to speak life. Help us, Lord, to be salt and light to this earth. Help us, Father God, to raise them up in the way that they should go when they're old and not depart from it. Bring peace to these children, peace in the storm, and give them wisdom as they're out on that playground, that they would have wisdom what to do with that friend who can't seem to get along, wisdom what to do to lead their friends. You're drawing them in. Give them wisdom and what to say, how to be a light. Give them wisdom, Lord. Wisdom, wisdom. They're junior leaders, but there's no junior Holy Spirit. Some of them, yes, they're, they're junior leaders in the sense that they're young leaders, but there is a Holy Spirit inside of them. That's ferocious like a lion. And so these children are, yes, they're young, but they are full of the spirit. Some of them and others of them are going to rise up as we teach them and and put them in these atmospheres. Help us, Lord, to surround them with the Holy Spirit. Help us, Lord, to continue to pray over these precious children that they may arise 
and go fervently into battle. Go fervently into intercession that they will arise and pray. They will arise and shine. They will arise to what you called for them. They shall reach their full potential. They shall reach the calling that you have for them. They shall do and receive the mantles. They shall go forth, Lord, and we thank you that they are rising even now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, bless the children, multiply the children, expand the children, expand the children's ministries in this hour in America. Expand them, Lord, multiply them, that many children are coming in and they're bringing their families or children. You know, that's the one thing that children will catch hold of it and they'll be telling their parents, oh, I want to go to church. They have these things at church. And then the children begin to bring in the parents, uh, the children. Now, if you grew up in the church, your parents brought you. But sometimes if you're in a house where there's unbelievers, the children are bringing the parents. And that's right, because the the children get saved and the parents get saved. I lived across the street uh, for many years as family across the street. I went back to visit my home and uh, I met the neighbor and he was telling me this testimony. You know, my son, he got saved. He was in the youth group and he said, Dad, I want you to come and come and, and visit the church. And the dad resisted for a while. And it was, I don't know how many years he said, but he resisted for a while. And finally he went and he got saved. Amen. So the child brought the father in and his family was saved hallelujah sometimes it's the family the the father that's saved and the mother and then the children get saved but sometimes it's the other way but if they get saved hallelujah so be it so let the children come in suffer the little children unto me the lord said and the children can be helping to bring in those parents so they can be saved too. Amen. God is so good. He's so awesome. I'm just enamored by the goodness of God. And I'm so grateful for, for who he is in my life. He's a good God. He's so faithful. And he's he's a helper, a friend, a really a good friend, a great friend, a great friend. Amen. We blessed on today. Press into the power of God. He's a good God. Be blessed.